I'm ready. All right, we're back. Personal health care reform talk show on Pegasus Net Waves, taking your health to a higher level and flying over all this wildness that we're calling the RNC and DNC conventions. If you haven't been watching, it's been great. It's been a fun show. It's really been a fun show with the DNC convention going on. Um, you know, I'm not a fan, although I'm a fan of everything that's going on. It's It's been funny. Um, anyway, so, <laughs> to be labor the point. Anyway, everybody, sit down, watch. It's the future of the country. Um, Make make the right decision, please. Um, so check everything out. Uh, ClintFuquay.com. I got brand new stuff on the website, by the way. You have to you have to check out the new stuff. Okay, I've got my four steps to health. Uh, I have brand new images on the website. I got more images coming on the way. My website people are doing a great job with that. Um, so uh, tell me what you like. Tell me what you don't like. We'll see if we can make some changes. We probably won't, but hey, you know what? It's my website. Um, <laughs> so, but we're simplifying. We're making it a lot easier. It's point and click now. You don't have to search for stuff. It's all right there where it's supposed to be. Um, Clintsprograms.com. Um, you know, my four top things that, uh, that I have on there as well. Uh, no things are in fours. Uh, PersonalHealthCareReform.com as well, which is the website for the show. And, of course, the hashtags, because you got to have hashtags today uh, in this day and age. So, hashtag LiveLean2016 is the main one. And hashtag MakeAmericaHealthyAgain is the new hashtag. That's right. Hashtag MakeAmericaHealthyAgain. Okay? Um... I'm sure you know where I stole that from. Um, <laughs> uh, and then, of course, we have Facebook, Twitter, uh, Instagram, Pinterest, LinkedIn, Google+. Plus. I'm on all of those. Uh, you can find those on, on the website. Uh, YouTube as well. Tons of videos on there. I'm starting to repost some of the old videos, uh, by the way. So watch for those on uh, on all the social media places. I, I got like 200 videos, okay? I need to start putting them back out there. Um, Spreaker for all the old shows. Uh, SoundCloud for the old shows. Uh, Idea Fit for all my background in the fitness industry. And, of course... You know I write. Okay, I write articles on occasion. Guess what? Ding, ding, ding. I'm back in men's fitness again. Uh, one of uh, 21 uh, uh, fitness experts that they had uh, come in and do, uh, do an article for them uh, for men's fitness. So check that out. It's online. I've already posted it. It'll be all over the place. Um, uh, Rocks Digital. Uh, watch for a new article coming out there very, very soon about selfies. Okay. Um, because <laughs> you know people do selfies, so I thought I'd have fun with that. And uh, offbeat business. Um, speaking of offbeat business, uh, I'm on I'm on that show right now. Also, so listen in to offbeat business um, coming up next week, or actually uh, first week in August. First week in August, I'll be on the offbeat business show. It's uh, it's on this course is on this station. It's on Pegasus Netwaves. Uh, the offbeat business show is on, Mr. Producer. Offbeat business show is on day and time. It's Tuesdays at 12, correct? Yeah, good. Sorry. Tuesday at 12. Check it out. I'll be on there. Um, and also, uh, read <laughs> read the uh, read my articles in there. Uh, current article is about uh, the 22 push-up challenge, which if you haven't been following along on Facebook or anything else, you'll notice I've been doing a lot of push-ups. I'm on round three of the push-up challenge. I did an entire article about that, uh, what that is, who it's for, is for 22 kill. Um, and uh, Living the Dream magazine is back out, so I'll start doing some articles in there as well. Um, let's hop over to my uh, uh, my health partners. So, human helping you unite mankind in nutrition. Uh, basically, you know, it's, it's healthy goldfish. Okay, it's all the good stuff you're supposed to have. They're at the office to keep your people healthy, keep you healthy, keep everybody feeling good, working well, all that stuff. So, uh, if you want better goldfish, call me. I'll get you in touch with them. Uh, MedCal Pro. Once again, I'll have them back on the show very soon. Um, and with them. It's one touch. E ER doctor on the phone with you. Uh, full medical kit for yourself. Awesome, awesome service. Um, Ulta Labs. Uh, of course, they do tons of specials. They give 20 to 80% off all labs, all lab tests, okay? Uh, 2,500 locations around the U.S. Incredible, awesome service. All of these guys. Um, how do they do it? Because they buy a bunch of lab tests at one time. So you get you get the value off of that. Um, and, of course, Everly Well. I'll have Everly Well on here very, very soon. They do uh, at home. Uh, they've got two tests out of uh, 12 to 30 on release. You do a little, pr a little prick of your finger. You do a swab. You send it in. They send results back. Uh, right now they're doing fertility tests and they're doing uh, food sensitivity tests. Uh, awesome, awesome, incredible service. Uh, great, great company. It's This company quite literally is like next level in, in health and wellness and medical. Um, so they, they are the future quite literally of what's going to happen for us in the medical industry. Uh, Kinesi. Of course, I'm always wearing my Kinesi. I've got some on right now. I it is about to be August, okay, in Dallas. 
I'm wearing a long sleeve black shirt. Okay? And I'm cool. That's how awesome this stuff is. Um, I'll leave it right there for you. Oh, yeah, by the way, uh, watch the Olympics coming up because uh, the Olympics are coming up. You're going to see a runner wearing our stuff. He's from Nigeria, okay? Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. Root for, root for the USA. But I have a guy that's wearing my stuff that's running for Nigeria. He's a great guy. He trains here in the U.S. He actually trains at my gym, by the way. Um, and uh, so awesome stuff. Watch for that. Uh and, of course, I've got uh, Thrive, uh, Thrive Marketplace. So this way you can go online and get all your organic stuff. It's 20 to 50% off. Anything that you're going to find in the store, everything's already uh, set up for you. If you're vegan, if you need to do gluten-free, uh, whatever your thing is. For paleo, okay, if one of those crazy paleo people, or paleo, however you want to say it. Um, anyway, you go in there, you type in what you are. It gives you a full list of everything there. Um, awesome, awesome company. And, of course, ID Life. I'm going to do a full show just about your life here pretty soon. But um, once again, go online, go to step two, do that health assessment. It quite literally will save your life. Okay? I'm not kidding here. It will save your life, uh, which is why the American Heart Association has partnered with us. And that's why they use us for their corporate wellness. And that's why Toyota uses us for the corporate, corporate wellness. We've got a bunch of others. We've got like 20 cities around the U.S. that use us for corporate wellness. It's incredible. Um, uh, it, along with tons of athletes and everything else. I mean, it's is customized. It's, it's better than customized. It's individualized. It's made for you specifically. We could have we have three million people log on there today, do their assessment. No two people will come out with the same uh, same nutrient blend, and you get twenty pages of you coming back to you. Anyway, I won't be over the point. Go online, take your assessment, um, and of course, the ADA North Texas American Diabetes Association. Of course, you know I'm on the board with them here in North Dallas, um, North Dallas, <laughs> North Texas. Uh, North Texas covers a wide range. Um, and we have this type of walk coming on the 5th. More, much, much more about that coming up um, uh, on other shows. Uh, today, however, I've got Jeff McKissick coming in. We're going to talk about self-defense and what that really is, what it really means, uh, and some realities of it. Uh, because it's kind of a big thing right now, if you haven't heard the stories going on, um, all the mass shootings, everything else. We're going to talk about some realities of things. Um, let's do a couple of events coming up. Uh, so September... September 18th, specifically, uh, Jared, Mr. Jared Gines, my friend here in Dallas, uh, he's going to have his epic super, super soaker battle at the FC Dallas uh, Toyota Stadium uh, up there in Frisco. It's $9. Uh, all proceeds are going to benefit, uh, you know, we had some huge flooding down in Austin. It's going to benefit them, and I think we're going to do some for police officers as well in that, or he is. Uh, awesome, awesome guy, awesome event. He's trying to go for a world record on this as well, okay? If you remember, there was a Nerf battle. Here, here in Dallas at uh, Cowboy Stadium not too long ago, that was Jared, okay? This is his second event. Go out, check it out. We need like uh, 3,500 people, okay? So, Metroplex is huge. I think we can get 3,500 people that want to shoot, either, shoot at the people with, uh, uh, <laughs> with, with water guns. So, uh, anyway, come out to that. It's going to be tons of fun. Then uh, step out walk on November 5th. Come out for that. Um, we're going to do uh, hitting the hot list right quick. And uh, we're going to run through this very quickly. That way we can get to Jeff because we had tons to talk about today in the show. So, uh, first off, on the hot list, um, <laughs> to, this, this one is a personal funny story for me. So, a uh, $200 billion fine for Herbalife. Uh, actually, $200 billion fine and restructuring of the company. Uh, this is a settlement they had with the, uh, uh, with the F FEC. Um, and, uh, well, it's... I said something big was going to happen this year in, in the industry. That was part of it. That was one of them that happened. Uh, so huge, two hundred billion dollars, and having to restructure the company. So um, you know, it's. I will get into it. Read all these are on the Facebook page. Read the entire story on this. Okay, uh, you really need to read the entire story on this, and and you know, know what's going on within the industry and what you're taking. Okay, um, what you're being sold, and what you're what they're telling you you're being sold. Okay, uh, speaking of. 35% of meal replacements failed, okay, failed consumer labs testing, which means they either had too much carbohydrate, not enough protein, or they didn't have what they had on the label, or they had stuff in there they're not supposed to have in there, or they had heavy metals, okay. Um, if, if you're taking vegan proteins, guess what? Most of them have heavy, heavy metals in them because of the processing. Anyway, check that one out. S make sure whatever you're taking isn't contaminated with something or has what it's was supposed to have on the label, all right. Uh, if you want my advice, Go to my website, order your stuff from ID Life. Okay, we do triple third-party testing. 
Nothing goes out until it's been tested three times for accuracy. Um, who else does that? Basically nobody. Why? Because we want you to be healthy. Um, all right. Uh, speaking of food, uh, Dallas City Hall is offering $3 million to end food deserts in Dallas. Um, the question is, who's going to take it, and why would they not take it? Well, first off, it's only $3 million. Uh, they ain't much, people. Seriously, if you're going to start up a, a grocery store someplace, anywhere, $3 million ain't much. Um, and there's tons of other factors in, in there. Read the story. It's a great story. Um, I've been down there. I've talked to some people about it. Um, and uh, healthy fats to help diabetes. Of course, I'm with the ADA. Uh, so avocados, nuts, seeds, all the good stuff. Start having the, some of those. It does help out uh, tremendously with uh, moderating blood sugar. Um, soft light robotics. They, they've actually made a myofiber uh, muscle, muscles for robots. It's awesome. Watch, watch the video. You'll be amazed. You'll, you'll be amazed and terrified if you've seen the Terminator movies. Okay, uh, Turmeric for Alzheimer's. You will, seriously. Um, <laughs> uh, turmeric for Alzheimer's. Turmeric straight for everything. If you're not taking turmeric, just take some. Um, and last little bits before I get out of here. Uh, Anthem and Cigna and Aetna and Humana. You know, they've been trying to do some combined efforts. They've been trying to become uh, companies together, okay? Which means we're going to have three health insurance companies. Well, the DOJ is starting to step in and say, hey, you can't do this merger. We're not going to let you do it. Even though you've been working on these mergers for the past year. Um, uh, and, uh, of course, once again, that includes United Health Group. Um, but it's because they're losing tons and tons of money because of the ACA. Uh, speaking of, insurance rates going up 50 per, 56% on average in 2017. If you haven't heard, now you've heard. Uh, if you listen to the show, you heard it like three months ago. Um, and lowest deductible, possibly going to be $7,100. Uh, just so you know some numbers going for next year because nobody's going to talk about it. I guarantee you. Um, insurance companies are leaving the exchanges, including United Healthcare is pulling out of the exchanges. If you don't know, now you know. Um, and, uh, oh, do, 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 what else? That is it. That's it for today. So, uh, come back, join us for the rest of the show. I've got Jeff McKissick in here. We're going to talk about self-defense, the realities of that, what that means. Uh, and Jeff is a, he is a certified expert in this. You're going to love, love, love this show. Okay, so come back. It's going to be awesome. All right, we'll, we're back, Personal Health Care Reform Talk Show. I'm Pegasus NetWaves, taking your health to a higher level, and hashtag Make America Healthy Again also. Uh, so I'm, we're back. The rest of the show is going to be uh, self-defense realities with uh, Mr. Jeff McKissick, who is a certifiable, uh, complete and total expert in this, uh, and you'll, as you'll find out after he tells you about some of his background. Um, and we've, we've got a great history together. I've known him for a long, long time. We're, we're not going to throw years in here. Anyway, so, um, but yeah, a long time, met him actually in martial arts, in the martial arts industry whenever I was doing that with uh, with supplement company years ago. And uh, so, great guy, great friend. Um, I actually owe him a lot. I'll talk about that later on. Uh, <laughs> forget me. You, you are actually the reason for this show, by the way. You started, I, I blame everything on you. Okay. It's every <laughs> Everything, the, the book, the show, everything, it's, it's all your fault. Okay? Oh, wow. Um, <laughs> Yeah. So, everybody, it, it's it, um, okay. Don't give it, out my email him. now. Yeah. We're not gonna give his email, his phone, anything like that. Um, so it's it's gonna be just like Hillary had it. It'll be deleted. Oh gosh. It's yeah. I know. It's gonna be bad. Um, anyway, so Jeff, t- 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 give everybody some of your background before we get into you know some del- some self defense realities and what you do and. Um, but yeah, it's some of your background, because you have a very, very interesting background. Um, well, 29 years ago this month, I started in this field, and when I first graduated from college, I was at home, and I was watching a TV show, and a man came on who was an investigator, reporter, and producer for 2020 60 Minutes NBC News. His name was Ken Wooden. And this is a man that interviewed Bundy, Lucas, Gacy, a lot of the names that we know across the country and, and crime history. And when he had a chance to interview them, he asked them a question no one would really ask them for. Everyone else trying to get inside their head, why did you do it? Ken Wooden said, I don't care why you did it. I want to know how you did it. How did you convince people to trust you? How did you lure your victims? How did you select your victims? And after 10 years of over 1,000 of these interviews, he started seeing patterns emerge as far as their methodologies. From that, he developed a program called the Child Lures Crime Prevention Program. And to really shorten the story, I wrote him a letter, he answered, I flew to his home in Vermont, we met, we hit it off in the next nine or so years, I was his apprentice. But the first thing he said is, I want you to know my program as well as I do, so go out and teach it. 
So my first three years out of college, I taught his child lures program to 250,000 K through 12 students in public schools, another 40, 50,000 adult professionals, police departments, DHS, various other groups. So by the time I was 25, I'd already been in front of 300,000 people in live audiences. Now, 29 years later, I easily say I've been in front of 350,000 plus a lot of radio, television, newscasts, other things where I'm used. I write for a lot of trade magazines for different industries across the country, do a lot of continuing education seminars for different professional groups. So 29 years later, I have made a career out of teaching people, as I classically coin it, how to spot trouble before trouble spots you. Mm -hmm. And that was the genesis of me founding Defense by Design back in 2005 really focus now instead of on the kids on the adults because most of the time i think when you see situations like we did in the late 80s for oprah 2020 good morning american others where we lured over 200 men and women in cars and vans on hidden camera i did one of our local news stations here a few years ago in dallas it was surprisingly easy to see how easy you could con a man or a woman and again mm -hmm. to a car with a total stranger and yet when you think about it we really have not taught people personal safety since sixth grade think about it unless you've served in military law enforcement or security no one has probably talked to you about your personal safety since sixth grade and even when we did so we did it through talking dogs puppets jingles and coloring books so how realistic was that <laughs> and there's been no continuing education since so when you flip on the channel and you see people falling prey to these crimes and you think to yourself how can this be how could these people be this naive how could they be this gullible how could they do so and so was well, because nobody's taught to them in probably decades. Mm -hmm. So what I've been trying to do is bring up people up to speed over the last, well, really 29 years, again, teaching you what the folks who do these crimes actually do and how they go about selecting you as a target, what you can do to stay out of their crosshairs and navigate the public out there in a little bit more safer way than we're seeing today. Yeah. So basically, everybody's been lulled into a false sense of security that they can take care of themselves, much like how they can take care of a plumbing problem in their house. Or IT problem. Or, or IT anything. problem. Oh, or anything let's else. just go to YouTube and we'll figure yeah. out how to do well, it. I, I can do this. I can handle it. Mm -hmm. no, you, you need training. So, uh, which is why I wanted you to go on here and why I wanted you to give some of your background because of all that stuff. Because, uh, you know, the main thing when it comes to self defense, and of course, most everybody out there knows my, my father's a police officer. I grew up in that. In, in that whole thing and the biggest thing was awareness yeah, awareness of all absolutely. your surroundings and that was a number one you know everything that's going on around you in the entire room as much as you can you know where the exits are you know you you, all, you know if you have all the knowns that you can possibly have so there's less unknowns well and to that because a lot of people think of what you refer to as environmental awareness yeah to me, even more important than environmental awareness is situational awareness. Yes. Reason being, people get lulled into a false sense of safety based upon their surroundings. They think because I'm in a nice place, I live in a nice neighborhood, I go to a nice shopping mall, that everything there and everyone there is going to be equally nice. Yet criminals know the best place to target you are places where you feel safe because mm -hmm. your guard is going to be down. Yep, safe, so, safe, safe spaces. Yeah, so bad things happen in good places. And I've said, and you've heard me say it for years and years and years, there are no such things as safe or unsafe places. There's only safe, safe or unsafe, unsafe people. people. Thank I you. love that. I love that. And I have been love trying it. to drill that into the public psyche now for over 20 years because that's the problem. People are aware. Oh, there's a tree. There's a parking lot. There's a car. There's a column. Yep. There's a parking garage. Yeah. What about all the other people? What about all the people that are here present that you see? Or people who are not there. Not there. Because you think, oh, I'm in a public place, so nothing's going to happen to me here. Yeah, but it's the public around while you're in that public place. Yeah. And, you're and in a public parking garage, but you're the only one in there at that moment. How safe are you? And I'm not saying someone, yeah. the boogeyman's going to jump yeah. out, but being aware and staying off the cell phone, taking the earbuds out of your ear when you're jogging, all those things that decrease our situational as well as environmental awareness mm -hmm. to, again, take ourselves out of the crosshairs of predators, because that's what they are, who are not just simply looking for prey, they're looking for the easiest prey. Mm -hmm. yeah, well, or they're looking to make a statement in some, in some way, shape, yeah, or yeah, fashion. Yeah, nowadays. Especially Absolutely. now. Um, <clears throat> so, once again, was one reason why you need to know what's going on around you and know what everybody around you is doing and, you know, mm -hmm. can't, you can't really read minds, but, uh, you know, you can read intent off of of certain movements of people, which I know you've talked about in the past quite a bit. Well, and there's also simple premises of things, even as simple as concealment versus cover. <clears throat> when we had shots fired here in Dallas just a few weeks ago, 
I saw people literally on camera hiding behind bushes and trees. Okay, mm -hmm. if somebody's got a high-powered rifle, that's probably not going to afford you a lot. It may conceal you from view so that you may not be in the crosshairs of the scope, but will it protect you from a stray bullet? It, it wouldn't even protect you from a BB gun. Right. <laughs> but again, that's because we don't have any real sense of these things. No one's taught it to the mass public. Again, mm -hmm. military, law enforcement, security, great. But what about the rest of the public? Yeah, yeah, we, we have that. There's also, uh, of course, I have to bring up the uh, the zoo thing. Because we, we which could, one? There's been which, several Which now. one? There's been several. Well, you, you posted the you know, the video of uh, the woman getting getting out of her car oh, at the, an animal preserve. In China, yeah. <laughs> and she gets mauled by a tiger. Yeah. It's, it was, it's like the kids. There's been multiple videos of kids going down into... Uh, well, the gorilla cage into the recently. Gorilla cage. Yeah. There's, there's, there's one, one girl that goes down into a, into an alligator cage. I saw that one too. She's running around there, jacking with the alligator. I'm like, do you not realize that thing's been around? For, those things have been around for millions. Of, all they do is eat. Mm -hmm. That's it. They're made to eat and create other little eatings, e eating babies. I mean, it's <laughs> well, and the thing is too. Just and I've, I've made this analogy over the years that whether you watch Animal Planet or Cam Criminal Minds. Predators, whether they're on two-legged or four-legged, think in many of the same ways. Mm -hmm. You can't poke and goad any predator without getting a response. Uh, you met the fellow I met years ago, Huso Dieguez, for over in Spain. Oh, yeah, helped yeah. train Christian Bale and helped train a number of A-list Hollywood celebrities, Liam Neeson and others. Yeah. If, and you, if you haven't watched the, the Dark Knight series, watch it. All the fighting that's in there, it's, it's their stuff. Well, and Huso made a great statement a number of years ago, broken English kind of accent. He said... Do you watch the snake? The snake, do you no bother the snake? The snake, he no bother you. But you come in the realm of the snake, do you receive from the snake? Mm -hmm. The snake, he no care of you a mouse or you an elephant. The snake just knows you come into my realm, do you receive? Yep. And people don't understand. There are people out there that think no differently than that. Mm -hmm. And yet they will go, they will provoke. It could be a road rage type case. It could be a domestic violence case where restraining orders filed and the guy responds with, oh, you think a sheet of paper is going to keep me away from you? People don't understand how to read other people. And so they, in essence, they're poking that alligator. Yeah. They're getting out of the car with the tiger. They're going down into the gorilla habitat. <laughs> and they do it knowingly and yet unknowingly. They know what they're doing, but they don't really understand the ramifications. Yeah, and it's, it, it, it is a major issue. And there's there's actually, since the Olympics are coming up, here's a story from the Olympics. There's a, cause it, it comes down to it doesn't matter how well trained you are. Uh, there's a uh, Australian, uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu athlete. Okay, they're, they're for the Olympics. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, athlete, he's mm -hmm. there. Okay, uh, and the guys from Australia, they're good. Um, anyway, he got kidnapped. Oh, yeah. There, at the that. Olympic Village. Yeah. He got kidnapped. They take him to an ATM, told him to pull money out or else they wouldn't let him go. Mm-hmm. And you know, it's of course they're pretty good with Brazilian Jiu Jitsu down in Brazil too. But um, <laughs> <laughs> there is that <laughs> home court you're, advantage. Yeah, you're, there. you're in the homeland. <laughs> uh, anyway, but yeah, so th there's some major issues down there with you know security for for the athletes. It's so, like you know, you have you have somebody that their whole world is nothing but taking care of themselves and mm -hmm. and doing BJJ. And what happens? Th this guy gets taken at gunpoint, taken over to the ATM, pulled the money out. Okay, now you can go back. Yep. He would receive from the snake. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, if he wouldn't have had any money in his ATM account, I guess, you know, an Australian consulate would have been called. And <laughs> but, and, and I tell people that have work with companies that have a lot of their employees travel overseas. I understand in most countries around the world, every American is a rich American. Mm -hmm. When you're on their scale, yeah. Oh, yeah. And so it's a different mentality you have to have when you're traveling. Oh, yeah. I, I tell everybody, before they go travel, you, you better go... Go get with Jeff. Have him recommend where to go just to, to learn some basics and figure out how to, whenever you travel, know your surroundings very well and, and, and have somebody with you that knows the surroundings as well. That always helps. Yep. Um, so, yeah, because I, I know that's one of your big things. And, of course, we've got Pokemon Go. Uh, oh, gosh. Yeah, no, uh, as if we need another yeah, distraction. Yeah. I, I, I have to bring Pokemon Go up because there was a case of uh, uh, two guys that were actually – waiting for people that were hunting for Pokemon because they're hunting the people hunting for Pokemon. Mm -hmm. uh, so the people show up, hey, give me your money. All right. <laughs> well, there was just a video posted the other day. It was a setup video like we did in the 80s oh, yeah, yeah. where the guy was luring these teenage girls that were out there looking for Pokemon, and he said, oh, you want to go with me? I'm just right, I'm just right down the street. I've got a buddy that's found some Pokemons. And these girls are getting ready to get in his car. Four, teenage four, girls. 14 and 16. Yeah. 
and it's you look at that, and this is a lure that I taught years ago the Childers program, the fun and games lure. Mm-hmm. And yet these were teenage girls. Again, we stopped teaching safety after sixth grade. So it's the same lures. I don't care where in the world you go, the predator mind is the same. And the lures are the same. It doesn't mm-hmm. matter what culture. They're all still the same. Yep. All the same, all the way around. So, yeah, I wanted to point that one out. And, yeah, it's, of course, you know, pull your mind go, it, it is a major distraction. And people are going everywhere, all over the place. And strength is getting people moving. The problem is just getting people moving into uh, bad places and positions, uh, falling off of, off of cliffs and, you know, stuff like that. Um, but, yeah, I wanted to focus mainly on that because when we're looking at self-defense. Most people wouldn't think of self-defense. Okay, I just need to go learn some karate. I'll be good. No, no, you won't be good. You'll be laying dead someplace um, because of, once again, false sense of uh, security and thinking, hey, I trained. I got this. No. <laughs> you, you have maybe moderately kind of trained. You don't got this at all. They got you uh, because you're in their, you're their, you're their environment. Um, the predators have you. So um, that's, I wanted to focus on that specifically uh, before we get into some other stuff because I, I do want to talk about some self-defense training. Uh, because you've been doing that for a long time mm-hmm. uh, with with uh, KFM and, and some other groups. Um, and I know one of your big things is whether you have a gun or not, you need to know, you know, it's it's an extension of you. Absolutely. It is, that's all it is. It's a tool. It's an extension of you. If you don't know how to handle it, it's going to get taken away from you and probably, probably get used on you. Uh, if you don't know how to, how to handle yourself, you'll never know how to, how to handle it. Yeah. At all. So, uh, anything from you on uh, where to go for for some good training? If you are going to get uh, get a weapon and go concealed carry or anything like that, which I I advise concealed carry instead of being open carry. Well, and here locally, there's a number of places. Um, I've got several friends that teach in Arlington. I've got friends that teach in Richardson and Plano. It just depends on what part of the metroplex someone's in, and they can certainly reach out to me, and I have no problems at all recommending the place based upon the geography because mm-hmm. I do know some people, different people in different areas of the metroplex. Yeah. No point crisscrossing the metroplex if there's someone near to you. So contact me. I have no problem connecting one of those friends. Okay. Yeah, I do I do want to throw out there, uh, since I talked about Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, uh, RCJ Machado, uh, uh, Cross Machado, awesome, awesome phenomenal guy him and his him and his family he's got places all over all of dfw if you're gonna do some brazilian jiu-jitsu go check them out they've got a brand new location opening up by the way i wanted to throw that out there for them because uh, i've known them since 97 awesome incredible family uh they're the second family of brazilian, of brazilian jiu-jitsu okay uh it's been a, they've been it forever so anything else from you uh contact information anything that you got coming up you can check me out at defensebydesign.com jeff at defensebydesign.com i do have a lot of things come up but most of my stuff is either private sector things where people contract me so i don't do a lot of public programs it's groups even if it's a church that brings me in but uh, next month i'm opening a three-hour seminar at the texas safety summit in austin uh, but then after that i've got some events with northwestern mutual here in the dallas fort worth area i've got some other conferences coming up for Cornerstone Credit Union League in San Antonio. So a lot of mine is conferences, conventions, value adds where companies hire me either for their employees Mm -hmm. and or their clients. But the main thing is, again, just going back to that whole phrase, learning how to spot trouble before trouble spots you. That's the key to self-defense. Exactly. Perfect. Um, Thank you for coming on. That's why I wanted to have you on here. Just to put put that point out there for everybody else out there, hashtag make make America healthy again. Um, Come back. For, uh, for more great shows here and for everything else, clintfuquay.com. Uh, check out all the brand new stuff on there and take the four steps to health, okay? Uh, it, it will be life-changing. Better yet, it will be life-saving, okay? Have a great day. Hi, this is Jeff McKissick with Defense by Design. You know, the first step to... Oh, let me rewind. Unless you have a okay. Hi, this is Jeff McKissick with Defense by Design. You know, the first step of self-defense is learning how to avoid situations where you have to defend yourself. And that's the purpose of Defense by Design. I go into companies and corporations, train employees, and sometimes those companies even hire me to teach the people that they do business with, their clients, their valued customers. So if you or those that you represent are interested in learning more about how to protect yourself, your family, and your companies, please feel free to contact me. Again, that's Jeff McKissick with DefenseByDesign.com. Are you a fan of Criminal Minds, or are you more of a fan of the Animal Planet or Nat Geo? 
Regardless, whether you like watching predators on two legs or predators on four legs, there's a lot we can learn from both the human and animal kingdoms. Hi, this is Jeff McKissick with DefenseByDesign.com, teaching you how to spot trouble before trouble spots you. Learn how to get into the minds of the would-be predator to keep you, your family, your business, your companies, your employees, and your customers safer. For more information on seminars for any and all of these, contact me, Jeff McKissick, at DefenseByDesign.com.